To find the domain and range of a situation described by a ball being dropped from a height and then bouncing back up to 75% of its original height, we need to identify what numbers could go into this function and what numbers could come out of the function. The domain, x, is always the set of numbers that could be put into the function. Then we do something to those numbers and we get an output, which is the range, or the f of x value. Sometimes the y value, sometimes the f of x value. They both mean the same thing. So to find out what numbers could go into the value here, we need to look at the function itself. This function tells us that 0.75 times x, which is a multiplication of a height times 3 quarters of its height, is going to be our output. So we have an input that's a height and an output that's also a height. If the ball is dropped from that height, then it must be above ground. So the number that could go in for x must be a number that's greater than 0. If it was dropped from below ground, it wouldn't bounce back up. So we know that x has got to be a positive number. So the domain in this function is all positive numbers. All positive numbers. We could also write it as x is greater than 0. Now on the other side here, the range, these are the numbers that are going to come out of our function. Now if x is any positive number, and we multiply that positive number by 0.75, y is also going to be a positive number. It can't go negative if we're multiplying a positive by a positive. Even if x were 0, which we spe specified it couldn't be, y still wouldn't go negative, it would just be 0 also. So we know from that information that our output, f of x, or y, in either case, is also going to be greater than 0. So y too will be greater than 0. To define the domain and range of the function y equals x squared, we're just going to take a look at what could go into the function and what could come out of the function. The domain, x, is the numbers that could go into the function. And we don't see any restrictions here. This isn't a word problem. This doesn't tell us anything about what x is. So we assume that x could be anything we wanted. There is no restriction on what x may be. So the domain is going to be all real numbers. Oops, I'm using the wrong color. Let's fix that. The domain is all real numbers. Okay, and then the range of the function is the set of numbers that could come out of the function, the numbers that the process could result in. In this case, although we can put anything we want in for x, when we square a number, it's always going to be positive. So even though we can put in anything we want, the numbers we get back out are all going to be positive. <laughs> okay, can't keep the color straight here. So all the numbers coming out of the function will be positive numbers, and the range is all positive real numbers.